But uh, you got to keep yourself fired up. Amen. That's a good amen. word. We got to stay fired up in Him. Amen. amen. So, amen. Are we home? Yes. Welcome, everybody. Good morning. Happy Sunday morning to you. Feliz Domingo por la mañana. We want to welcome you to New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben. Bienvenidos a la Iglesia Nuevo Comienzo. We want to welcome our NBC family, our visitors, and all those joining us by audio and video. Amen. And all we ask you to do is prepare yourselves for what God has for you. You on a daily basis when you wake up, when you get up, you greet him and says, Lord, thank you for waking me up. This is the day the Lord has made, and I'm going to rejoice and be glad in it. Thank you, Lord. Amen. So, hey, you know what? It's good to start off with the right attitude. You know, oh my God, you know, it's Monday again. Miserable Monday. And Tuesday, man. Oh, but man, we start waking up when it says, man, thank God it's Friday. All of a sudden we find ourselves in God and, and thank you, Lord, for Friday. And the weekend is here and I'm going to have a blast. I'm going to have a good time. But guess what? We got to have a relationship. Yes. Amen. Amen. We got to have a relationship. And he's the God of the Mondays and he's the God of the Fridays. Yes. Amen. He's God all the time. All the time. But we have to let him be God to us. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. He's our heavenly father. We're we're his we're his uh, church. We're the church. Amen. Well, I mean, I'm not going to church today. Well, if you're a child of God, you are the church. Yes. Amen. And you gotta get ready to do something. Yes. So anyway, prepare yourselves to receive. Amen. Bienvenidos a todos los que nos escuchan por audio video. Prepare a recibir lo que el Señor tenga para usted. Uh -huh. Allow the word of God. To bless you, allow the word of God yeah. to change you. Yes. Amen. Yes. Allow the word of God. You have to. He says, "I'm knocking, but you're not letting me in." Yeah. My word is there, but you're not doing anything with it. We gotta let it change us. Amen. We yeah. gotta let it correct us. Yes. Amen. Woo! Come on, now. I'm Amen. preaching to somebody. Amen. <laughs> We're Amen. gonna be talking about. You know what? The way things are right now, it don't look so good. Mm. But guess what? My God is able. It says, my God will make a way. Amen. The, the world says no, but God will make a way. And we'll find out in some of our stories here how God made a way. Yes. <laughs> he told Noah to build an ark. He says, what's an ark? <laughs> He's going to save his people from the flood. He says, what's a flood? Right. Amen. <laughs> and you might find yourself in the same situation, you yeah. know, like, uh, what is this? What's that? You know, you don't have to understand to step out. That's right. Uh, the, the word here is you're going to step out in faith, man. Amen. Just we'll, we'll step out in faith. Amen. So yes. grab your swords. I'm excited. I'm yes. already on fire. Thank you, <laughs> Don't Amen. touch me now. <laughs> You'll get burnt. Amen. Oh, so God. grab your sword. Grab your Bible, soldier of God, and say it like you mean it. Let's, yes. let's make this declaration. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I, I can do what it says, says I can do. Today, I'll be talking to the Lord God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My, my spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Amen. Yeah. And in God. case you forgot, I'll remind you. <laughs> the battlefield, there's a battlefield. And we fight a spiritual battle. And if you're not in the Word of God, you lose. Uh -huh. But the, the mind is... The battlefield. Yes, There's a battlefield going, I mean, a battle going on all the time. If you're not renewing your word, if you're not renewing your mind with the word of God, uh -huh. you lose. Yes. Because thoughts come, thoughts come, and thoughts come. And you read things. Okay? But you have to renew your mind because I'm not receiving that. I know what it says, but I'm not receiving it. Okay? You have to delete it, get it out. Uh -huh. Keep your mind clean. My mind is alert. Amen. In order for you to keep an alert mind, you got to renew it with the Word of God. Yes. Otherwise, there's a lot of trash there. Amen. We have problems with our computers. No, boy. We got a lot of trash in them. It ain't not working yes. right. It's overloaded. We overload ourselves, our minds, and guess what? Yeah. We got to renew it and get it out. You yeah. know, when our trash cans get full, what do we do? Huh. We oh, empty them. We take them yeah. to the dumpster. We get rid of it. And guess what? Yes. We can put more in there. Yeah. But we have to renew our mind with yes. the Word of God. You try being, you have a spirit, beat it the Word of God. You have a mind, your mind, your will, your emotions, mm -hmm. our soul, excuse me, your mind, your will, your emotions. Renew it with the Word of God because the enemy is going to 
put thoughts there. The world is going to put thoughts there. Thoughts are going to come all the time. Right. But guess what? You have to do something with them. Amen. You know, you got to get them out. If you don't, then you're going to meditate on those and eventually give in. So you don't want to do that. Say, wait a minute. I'm not even giving place to that. That's right. I'm getting rid of it now. Man. It's gone. Right. I don't want it. It's not for me. Right. Maybe somebody else, not me. But you, you have to do something. It's your choice. Here's the thing: is we have choices. You got to make that choice. You got to say, hey, it's not for me. Not now. I'm not going to entertain it. Amen. And we're not here to be entertained. Amen. Amen. I mean, we let that come into the church. Mm -hmm. You know about hey, you know, I, I could be in the world and they entertain me much better than mm -hmm. the church does. Yeah. Well, we're not here to entertain. That's right. right. Amen. <laughs> we're here to teach the word. Yes. Word. Amen. The word of God. And sometimes the word of God corrects. Yes. So, Praise you know, if you don't feel comfy, maybe it's because God is <laughs> dealing with you on some things you need to deal with. Yes. Amen. That's right. And pray for pastor. Because guess oh. what? I get attacked twice as much as you do. Because mm. I'm leading the flock. Mm. <laughs> I'm leading the sheep. Mm. I'm the pastor. Yes. Say, hey, we knock the pastor down, the sheep will go. <laughs> mm -hmm. Pray for me. Yes. You know, don't don't critique me. I got faults. <laughs> but pray for me and say, man, man, Pam, whatever. Just pray for me. Mm -hmm. yes. We'll pray for one another. Yes. Amen. Yes. We lift each other up and not yes. push each other down, okay? And we do that so easy. Yeah. Amen. Woo! Are we didn't even start yet. <laughs> so praise God. God will make a way. Yeah. And this is what I have to say. Don't leave the presence of God the same. Leave change. Yes. When you hear the word, don't leave the same way. Man, I feel relief. Man, I just unloaded on him. I dumped on him. Well, good. Do that all the time. Because yeah. the world's going to load you up. Uh -huh. <laughs> you need to unload. It says, cast all cares. Okay. Cast all your weights. Yeah. Cast all your problems on me because I care for you. Yeah. I've got you on this mission. I called you. Yes. And you're going to fulfill this because I called you. Amen. Amen. And I can do all things through Christ. Yes. But the enemy, again, John 10, 10, comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Yes, he He's going to steal all your time. Try to steal all, everything. Everything. And you're going to find yourself, I don't have time for anything except for those few little things. Right. Make time. You can do all things through Christ. Amen. Woo! Hallelujah. So, don't leave the same. Leave a new you. Amen. Yes. <laughs> the Lord's not finished with you yet. Amen. He has great plans for you. None of them include defeat. So, Amen. make yourself available to Him. The Bible says you can do all things through Him. Greater is He that is in you than He that is in the world. How do yeah. He see you? He sees you this way. Yeah. See yourself the way God sees you. He sees you a winner. Amen. He sees you a champion. Right. He yeah. sees you completing your mission. Amen. Yeah. Praise God. You see yourself that way. If you're not seeing yourself that way, it's time you renew your mind Amen. and renew your relationship with them. Yes. Amen. Ooh, yes. Come on. I'm preaching to myself. Right. So if you if if you like any of this, <laughs> grab it for yourself. Say, man, yeah. he's talking to me. Right. Amen. <laughs> He's talking to me. I'm talking to me. Amen. Praise God. Before we go any further, thank you, praise team. <laughs> it blessed me. You know, I've had people tell me this. Well, you know, I'm not into praise and worship. You know, I just get into the word. You know, well, you know what? Get into praise and worship. Because we're supposed to worship him. We're supposed to praise him. Amen. Praise the Lord. And you know, Pastor Pat knows I might have a message. But if God's moving in the praise and worship, we'll stay in the praise and worship. Yeah. Have your way, Lord. It's not about me. I don't want to get up here just to do something for myself. I want to get up here when God says get up here. And if it's through praise and worship, so be it. Amen. But it blessed me. But when praise and worship is going on, open yourself. Uh -huh. Amen. And let the praise come. And let, let, let it come and bless you. Amen. Yes. Woo, hallelujah. Amen. Thank you. But listen, I didn't get to her on time, but this song, one of my favorite songs goes like this. It says, God will make a way. 
where there seems to be no way. He works in ways we cannot see. He will make a way for me. He will be my guide, hold me closely to his side with love and strength for each new day. He will make a way for me. Yes. Amen. The Bible says he's our heavenly father. We're his children. Quit going around calling yourself a sinner. Yes, yeah. we're a child of God. And yes, we do sin and we do fall to sin. But still, I am a child of God. Amen. Since you was yeah. born again, confessed him as your Lord and Savior, you're now a child of God. Amen. So, see yourself as a child of God. And he's my heavenly father. Yes. Lord, forgive me. I sinned against you. Lord, forgive me. I fell. He knows that, but I'm confessing it to him, yes. and I'm getting right with him. Yes. But he, see yourself as a child of God, not just Amen. go around calling yourself a sinner. Yes. Right. Amen. That's, right. That's for lost Amen. people. That's right. You're not lost anymore. That's right. Man. That's Man. You're not perfect, and I sin sometimes. Mm. But don't see yourself less than a child of God. I'm a That's child right. of God. Amen. Yes. For God so loved the world. Amen. Yes. Woo, come on now. Amen. And it just goes on, and it's, it's, it's great. He will create a way to make a way for you. And now I'm not going to get too much in, into it because um, we'll see how God blessed his people in the Bible. Yeah. You know, his word. Yes. And we see how God blessed them and used them. And he wants to bless us and use yes. us. Mm -hmm. Amen. So don't exclude yourself. Include yourself. Right. You know, be available. Uh-huh. It's so important that you know what the Word of God says so people don't distract you and people don't mislead you and tell yeah. you God can't use you anymore because what, of what you did, because of your past. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, you know what? You became a new creature in Christ. Yes. You had a spiritual birth on the inside when you asked Him to come into your heart. Right. And you're a new creature in Christ now. Old is gone, new is in. That's right. Amen. You see the... Body is the old thing that you still see. Yes. <laughs> but uh, I'm a new me inside. Yes. Amen. So Thank I need to Lord. start acting the way the new me is. Amen. Amen. And start feeding the word of God to it. So I can start doing what God wants me to do. And see myself the way God wants me to see myself. Yeah. And not what the world says and labels me and qualifies me or disqualifies right. me. Right. You are somebody special. Yes. Bible says, for God so loved the world. World. For God so loved, you can scratch world there and put your name right there. Yeah. For God so loved Jose. Amen. That he sacrificed his son. Mm -hmm. Amen. Woo. Man, we better get into the word. <laughs> Praise God. God will make a way. Yes, he will. Amen. Boy, I better be careful with my new glasses. <laughs> Open your Bibles. Open your Bibles. We're here to hear the word of God. Read the word of God. Okay. And we preach from the Word of God. Amen. Yes. We're going to be in the book of John. Several scriptures from the book of John. Well, let's first let's go to John 10 10 because mm -hmm. we already talked about that one. Mm -hmm. So let's go find out who this rascal is that we fight against. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. And it's so important that you need to do what I can do. I can do all things through Christ, but guess what? I got to keep myself prepared. I got to keep myself stirred up. I got to keep the whole armor of God on me. Uh huh. Because the enemy comes, the Bible says, to steal, kill, and destroy. Yes. So I have to do my part. But I got to stay, what we used to call, we got to stay battle ready. Yes. Yes. We got to stay battle ready. The enemy comes to fight. Guess what? I'm going to give him a fight. But the Bible says, submit yourself to God, resist the devil, he'll do what? Flee. He'll flee. Yeah. Amen. So you got to have it in you so you can speak it out. Amen. So John 10, 10 says what? Amen. Mine's in red, I don't know about yours. That means Jesus is speaking. Amen. Uh -huh. John 10, 10 says, the thief, devil, diablo, whatever you want to call him, cometh not but to steal and to kill and to destroy. Yes. Jesus says, I come that they... That you, you can say they, you just yes. put your name right there. Amen. That they might have life and that they might have it more, more abundantly. abundantly. Yeah. Right. More abundantly. Now keep turning to your right. Go to your right to chapter 14. Mm -hmm. Look at 14.6. 14.6. 
Mine oh is in red also. Yes. <laughs> you ever heard of Thomas? They call him Downing Thomas. Uh -huh. He's always downing. <laughs> but anyway, he was asking him some questions. Well, let's start at verse 1. Let's, let not your heart be troubled, but, but uh, believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father, in my Father's house are many mansions. Mm -hmm. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. Yes. See, this, you put your name there too. Mm -hmm. He's gone to prepare a place for me. Yes. But I got to do my part. Amen. Yes. I got to do my part. Right? Yes. And if I go to prepare a place for you, I will, what? Come again. Come again. Yes. Amen. I will come again. And his timing. Yeah. Okay. But he's coming again. You know, uh, I've told you this before. You know, when they say, hey, the coronavirus is here. Uh, COVID-19. All these things. You know, hey, uh, storms is coming. Uh, hurricanes is coming. Yeah. We're prepared for all these things they tell us about. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And he says he's coming back. There Get ourselves go. right with God. Yeah. And yeah. We, we just ignore it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We ignore this. Mm -hmm. But he says right here. I don't know what your Bible says. Mm. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will, I will come God. again oh, and yeah. receive you unto myself, that where I am, there ye may be also. also. So that's where you see yourself. Amen. I'm in heaven Amen. with him. Amen. So when my mission is done here, he's going to call me home. Yes. This is not my home. I'm just passing right. through yeah. and I'm doing what he's called me to do. Yeah. He's called you to do something. Right. That's Amen. It. <laughs> Amen. I lost my place. <laughs> <laughs> and whither I go, ye know, and the way ye know. Now Thomas said unto him, Lord, we know not whither thou goest, and how can we know the way? Yes. <laughs> How can we know the way? How can we know about him? Well, yeah. Jesus says unto them, or it was Jesus said unto him, I am the way. Yes. We're going to be studying this maybe next week, but we're going to be studying about, it, about the. He says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father, or no one comes unto the Father but by me. Right. You want to know how to get to the Father? Uh -huh. You got to go through him. Amen. If you, you you can't buy your way, you right. can't go around him, you can't go any other way. You got he says, I am the way. Yes. He could have said I am the only way. <laughs> uh -huh. The truth and the life. No one goes to the Father yeah. except through him. Amen. Amen. Woo, come on. Yeah. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. And if he uh and if he know knoweth me, you should have known my father uh -huh. also. And have uh, henceforth you uh, know of him and have seen him. Amen. So we're going to stop right there. Amen. Ooh, hallelujah. Lord, amen. So God will make a way. Your yes. troubles, your trials, your yes. temptations, amen. your trusting, and your transgressions. Amen. Uh -huh. First Corinthians 10, 7, uh, 13 says this. Mm -hmm. No temptation has overtaken you except such as is common to men. But God is faithful. Yes. Who will not allow you to be tempted beyond That's what right. you are able to. But with the temptation will also make a way of escape. Yes. That you may be able to yes. bear it. Amen. Amen. Yes. Ooh, come on now. Yes. So the, we've been talking about these giants before. Okay, uh -huh. We've been talking about them. It says the giants will face. There are giants you will face each day. They come daily. Don't let them have you That's don't it. let them control you you control them magnify your god not your giants i mean you these giants here could be and we're going to talk about it but they could be uh whatever problems that you're facing and my problems are different than yours amen so anyway still god is bigger amen. there's a beautiful song that goes god is bigger than any mountain yes any giants coming against you Yes. But we have to make sure. He says in Psalms 23, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, a valley of the giants, uh -huh. guess what? He says, I will fear no evil. Yes. Why? Because God is with me. Yes. Yeah. Amen. He sent 12 spies into the promised land. Uh -huh. 
He says, this promised land is yours. I'm giving it to you. Uh -huh. And he says 12 spies in there. Yeah. And only two come back with positive reports. Right. Yes. Amen. Amen. We good. go into the world on a daily basis. Uh -huh. What is your report mm -hmm. after you go out there? Yeah. If you don't prepare yourselves to go out, guess yeah. what? You're already defeated. Yes. Because the world is going to have you. Yes. Yes. Amen. Yes. The world is going to have you. If you don't have prepare yourself, spend time with him. Thank you, Lord, for this beautiful mm -hmm. day. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Yeah. I thank yeah. you for the blood of Jesus that's mm -hmm. protected me, that's going with me. Yeah. Greater is he that's in me than he that is in yeah. the world. Yeah. Amen. Amen. You know, when you do this, yes. Yes. you're going into the world, devils are going to run from you. Yeah. yeah. Amen. <laughs> You're prepared to win no matter yes. what comes That's against it. you. That's it. And you, wherever you go, is different than where I go. Yeah. And that's okay. But see, the body of Christ goes everywhere. Yes. Amen. Woo. Come on now. Amen. Glory, glory, glory. They come daily. Don't let them control you. You control them. Magnify God and not your giant or your problems. 2 Timothy 1.7 1, 7, 1, 7. We read this a few minutes ago, but mark these down. You know, when you mark them down, next time you mark them down, you know where to go and review it and study it and meditate yeah, yeah, on same, it. Yeah. Amen. So, man, this is for me. I need this. I need to get it not only in my head, I need yeah. to get it in my spirit. Yes, yes. I need to get it in my spirit, you know. And when I need it, it's going to come up. Yes. It's going to come up. Come Amen. Woo. Come on. It says, for God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. And 2 Corinthians 5, 7 says, for we walk by faith and not by sight. This is us, Corinthians. I mean, Christians. Amen. Christians. We walk by faith and not by sight. You got to be stirred up and you got to have the word in you. And you got to have the greater one in you. Just to say, you know, hey, I will, I'm, I'm stepping out in faith mm -hmm. and not fear. Or you can read it like this. For I walk by fear and not by sight. Uh -huh. You'll know right away if you're walking in faith or walking in fear. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because so it's going to have you lunch. So true. James 4, 7 says, therefore submit yourself to God. Resist the devil, the devil yes. and he will flee he from you. Flee. You have yeah. to do something. Yeah. You know how the devil's going to flee from you? Mm -hmm. When you start confessing his word. His word yeah. Amen. He don't mind if you have a Bible laying around collecting dust and doing nothing. Yeah. Right. Amen. But when you open this word yeah. and you start getting this word in you, mm -hmm. amen, this is the temple. Your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Right. Amen. Yeah. And when you start getting this word of God in yeah. you, in your spirit, man, mm -hmm. renewing your mind with the word of God, yeah. and you start getting it in you and studying and meditating on it, yeah. guess what? <laughs> When the enemy comes, remember you're fighting a spiritual battle. Yeah. You're not fighting people. That's right. Okay, you're fighting a spiritual battle. And when you start confessing the word of God, I've got it in me to, uh -huh. to speak it out. Amen. Glory, glory, glory. The enemy says, yeah. submit yourself to God, resist the devil. He's going to flee. He's going to go. When the enemy comes, he uses people. Yes. He uses people. Mm -hmm. Amen. Somebody cut you off, no. flip you off. What? Instead of going around them and flipping them off, mm. you could just say, Devil, I resist you in the name of Jesus. Yes. Yes. Amen. Amen. Confess the word. Yes. Give no place to the devil. That's it. Because you're a human being too. And you're going to want to get right into it. Mm -hmm. Amen. So don't go there. Right. Now you know. Amen. <laughs> John 3 16, for God so loved the world, yes. he loved me so much. That he gave his only begotten son. Uh -huh. For whosoever believeth in him should not perish, not but have yeah. everlasting life. Amen. 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 You know, people get mad when I tell them I'm God's favorite child. Yeah. <laughs> well, how do you know? Well, it says right here, for God so loved me. Yes. Love the world, remember? Personalize it. Yes. For God so loved Jose that he gave his only begotten son. He sacrificed his son for me. Yeah. That's what his word says. That's right. Yes. But um, if they don't know the word, you'll get upset. <laughs> mm -hmm. Jesus faced a few storms. Noah, Moses, Job, Joseph, David. They faced a few storms. Yes. So guess what? God's people, they faced a few storms. Yes. But you know, God was with them. And God blessed them. God protected them. 
and he'll do the same for us. Amen. Sickness storms, coronavirus storms, family storms, health storms, death storms, <laughs> financial storms, <laughs> addiction storms, mm -hmm. marital storms, people storms. <laughs> yes. Rude, hateful, jealous, <laughs> unloving, oh, unkind, yeah. un, 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 uh, uh, likable, oh. and unforgiving. This is some of the people I know. How about you? <laughs> and if you react in the flesh, guess what? You're going to give them some of what they gave you. Yeah, yeah. Remember, Jesus went through the same things. Yes. They brought him before Pilate. Mm -hmm. They brought him before some leaders, you know, mm -hmm. and they accused him. Mm -hmm. And he helped himself. Yes. He could have said things. He could have called angels to yes. come and protect him. Yes. But he fulfilled what God called him to do. Why? Yes, because he, he was father with with him. Amen. Mm -hmm. And he had a greater one. He was he was great to know what the father said. Yes. Amen. And Amen. we need to know what the word of God says so yes. we don't bust up. That's it. And and, and give it up. That's Say, it. Hey, Lord, help me. I need your strength. What do you think he went through when he went through the beating they went through? Mm -hmm. Right. Amen. Lord, I need you now. More than ever. <laughs> I need you now. That's another beautiful song. Mm -hmm. I need you more. More than yesterday. I need you now. Now, now, now. Yes. More than ever before. Amen. Woo, come yeah. on. Maybe next time, Pastor Pat. <laughs> <laughs> God will make a way. God will. Uh, with God, you're in control. Without Him, you're out of control. Why? Because your flesh is going to take over. Uh -huh. Immediately, you'll find out. If you're feeding your flesh. Or you're feeding your spirit. Yeah. Right. Because yeah. you're going to react in the spirit. Uh -huh. You're going to say and do things people weren't expecting you to, to do. Mm -hmm. But if you're in the flesh, guess what? You're going to react in the flesh. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're going to find out. Well, I thought you was a Christian. <laughs> 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 your words, your actions, your thoughts will make you or break you. That's right. Remember, words are carriers. They either lift you or they put you down. Their life or death. They're po positive or negative. You're choosing them though. And you're using them. Keep a positive attitude. A positive confession. Sow the right words. Let your say-sos be according to the word of God yeah. on a daily basis. Amen? Amen. And we do have some say-sos. Yes. And say what the word of God says. Uh -huh. Not what yes. you say. And don't repeat yeah. some negative things they say at you. That's Amen. It. Stay in control. Feed your spirit. Renew your mind. Crucify your flesh. Yeah. That's what the Bible says. Feed your spirit. Yeah. Renew your mind and crucify your flesh. Yeah. Yeah. Your flesh wants to kill. <laughs> your flesh wants to say ugly things and do other things. If your spirit is not fed and your mind is not renewed, your flesh will have its way and it's yeah. going to be an ugly way yeah <laughs> stay in faith not in fear yeah trust him yeah. aim to please him the bible says in hebrews uh 11 1 says that now faith is the substance of things hoped for the evidence of things not seen see. hebrews 11 6 says but without faith it is impossible to please him yes. 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 if you're not walking in faith mm -hmm. it's impossible to please him yes. <laughs> amen we need to stay in faith how do we stay yeah. in faith we stay in the word. Amen. Amen. <laughs> mm -hmm. John 16, 33 says, I have told you these things so that in me you will have peace. In the world you'll have troubles. Mm -hmm. But be of good cheer. Yes. Or take heart. I have overcome oh, no. the world. Mm -hmm. He's telling us how to deal with it. Right. If we don't deal the way he tells us, we fall. We fail. Yes. You know, and it's okay if you're a child of God and go before him and says, Lord, I fail you. Mm -hmm. Help me, Lord. Yes. And he will. Yeah. Yes, and he will forgive you. Yeah. Amen. And it's okay. So, you know, just because you fail, don't mean you got to stay down. Yes, don't mean That's you it. give up. Woo. Say, Lord, I feel empty. Help me, Lord. Yes. And he will. Yes, He's will. a loving father. Amen. Yes. Proverbs uh, 3, 5, and 6 in the NIV says this. Trust in the Lord with all, all your heart. heart. Amen. And lean not in your own understanding. And all your ways submit to him. Yes. And he will make your path straight. Amen. He'll direct you. Yeah. He'll tell you what to do. 
Amen. Amen. Psalms 37 and 3 says, The steps of a good man or a righteous man are ordered by the Lord. Yes. And he delights in his ways. Yes. Amen. So all these are good. Amen. And yes. this is what uh, Psalms 37 and 23 in the Amplified says. The steps of a good and righteous man mm -hmm. are directed and established by the Lord. Yeah. And he delights in his ways and blesses his path. Mm -hmm. My way is blessed by God. Yes. You tell you tell some people that and you say no. you're crazy. Yeah. They don't know because they're not in the spirit. Mm -hmm. They don't have relationship with your heavenly father. Amen. But they'll see the results. Mm -hmm. Say, man, why are you always this way how come always good things happening to you yeah <laughs> because my steps have ordered mm -hmm. god. god is watching That's over me right. god's protecting me he says he blesses my path yes see this is what his word, word says proverbs 24 and 16 says for a righteous man falls seven times and rises again but the wicked stumbles in time of disaster right. and right. Right. collapse Amen. yes when you know your heavenly father and you have a relationship You'll get up. You don't yeah. stay down. That's, right. That's it. Amen. <laughs> Giant storms yeah. problems come to all. Uh -huh. Saved or unsaved. That's it. Come yeah. on now. <laughs> if you true. trust God and keep on walking in faith, you're gonna he's you're gonna be it's, he's gonna be there for you. Yes, uh, oh <laughs> I put it in the back. I was just gonna read to you right quick the uh, uh I might have left it up there. No, here it is. The footprints in the sand. Oh. Just quickly. It says, I, I dream I was walking alone. Along the beach with the Lord. And across the sky flashed scenes of my life. For each scene I noticed two sets of footprints in the sand. One belonged to me and the other belonged to the Lord. Mm -hmm. When the last scene of my life flashed before me, I looked back. At the footprints in the sand, I noticed that many times along the path of my life, there was only one set of footprints. Uh -huh. I also noticed that it happened at the very lowest and saddest times of my life. Mm -hmm. They really bothered me, and I questioned the Lord about it. Lord, you said that once I dedicated, I just, excuse me, I decided to follow you, you would uh, walk with me all the way. Yes. But I have noticed that during the most troublesome times in my life, there was only one set of footprints. I don't understand why in yeah. times when I needed you the most, mm -hmm. you should leave me. The Lord replied, this is what the Lord says. He says, my precious, precious child, I love you. I would never, never leave you during your times of trials and sufferings. When you saw only one set of footprints, it was then that I carried to. Right. Yeah. Amen. We need to remember this, okay? Because we feel all the time. We're flesh. <laughs> We're human. A lot of times we feel, man, I feel by myself. I feel all alone. We don't feel the presence of God. We have walked away. Relationships not there. And He hasn't gone away. It's we have right. gone away. Just like a prodigal son, say, hey, Lord, things are going good now. Dad, everything's fine. Give me my monies. I'm out of here. Uh -huh. And we walk away from him, and we walk into a world unprepared. Right. Yeah. Amen. And we get whooped bad. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Prodigal son says, you know, I can go back to Father's house and have a better place uh -huh. and do better. That's yeah. Good. And we remember, man, when we're at the lowest points, it says, I need God right now. Yeah. And he's with you. He said he never leaves you, nor forsakes you. That's right. You can just call on him and he's right there. Yes. Amen. But well, what we need to do is we need to do a turnaround. When we do a turnaround, he's there to embrace us. Yes. He's right there. Amen. Amen. So <laughs> those footprints, we feel like <laughs> at my lowest point, Lord, you left me. Mm. No, he didn't leave you. That's right. We left him. Yeah. We started going off in the wrong ways. Yeah. And uh, we need to not do that. <laughs> Praise God. Listen to this. Yeah. The footprints in the sand prayer, especially to so many Christians, mm -hmm. because it speaks directly to our intimate relationship with the Lord yes. or with God. 
our faith in God does not excuse us uh, from uh, experiencing hardships or sadness. That's right. We all go through some up and downs in life. Mm. When we need help, God walks beside us. Right. And other times, He carries us mm -hmm. as a father carries His child. Yes. Amen. So listen, trust Him. Even when you may not see the end of the road. Mm -hmm. Trust Him when things don't look so clear. Mm -hmm. Amen. Wherever you may be on your walk, amen, or whatever may be in your way or whatever is blocking your way, trust Him. Right. God will make a way where there seems to be no way. That's right. I told you about Noah. God told him all about what's going to happen. Mm. He said, I want you to build me an ark. He didn't know what an ark is. You think you find yourself in problems saying, well, <laughs> the Lord, well, how am I going to do this? What do you think about Noah? Nobody ever built an ark before. Right. He said, build me an ark. <laughs> what? And how am I going to get all these animals in there? <laughs> you know, two of a kind. Is, he went through some things there. Yeah. <laughs> and we think, we've got bigger problems. Oh, boy. <laughs> he told Moses to lead his people. He said, well, I can't talk. He said, well, he provided somebody for him. Mm -hmm. But then... He's running from the Egyptian armies. Uh -huh. And he gets to the Red Sea. <laughs> says, Lord, <laughs> you think you got problems. You got hundreds and hundreds and thousands of people <laughs> that you're leading and the army's coming and you're between the Red Sea, it looks impossible, and the army that's coming right behind you. Yeah. God will make a way. Yes, and God right. told him what to do. Yeah. And he did. Yes. And the Red Sea parted. Yeah. He make a way where there seems to be yes. no way. Right. Amen. Amen. He opened that Red Sea and they walked in dry land all yes. the way across. When they got to the other side, when the army started to go through, mm -hmm. it closed. Yeah. Amen. When your enemies come, you'll close on them. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> Just a few walls of Jericho, impossible to come down. It was so thick, you know. I mean, they, they ran uh, uh, chariot races up in there. That was how wide it was. Yeah. But God gave him a plan. Yes, he did. Uh, Joshua said, this is the plan. This is what I want you to do. Yeah. And he'll do the same for you. Mm -hmm. Amen. And he did. And guess what? That impossible wall came down. Yes, he did. Flat. A big fish. <laughs> I like this one. <laughs> Jonah. God says, I want you to go to Nineveh. And you know what Jonah says? Uh -uh. He says, I I I'm not going. Yeah. God has told you, God has called you, and he's told you what to do. Uh -huh. and, and you said, uh-uh, I'm going the other way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he got in the ship, started having problems. He told the captain what the problem was. Yeah. So they got rid of the problem. They got rid of him. Yes. But God prepared mm -hmm. a way. That's right. A yes, big fish. Yeah. Don't you like to be swallowed by a fish? Oh, <laughs> and then have him come spit to you where you were supposed to be. Yeah. <laughs> Take that. Finally, Jonah says, okay, Lord, I'll do what you want me to do. So we find ourselves, you know, and say, um, Lord, yeah. <laughs> I'll do what you want me to do. Yeah. Okay, I'm glad. <laughs> come on, this is a lot of us, okay? <laughs> um, he's saying Jesus. How would you like to be Jesus sitting up in heaven talking to his dad and his dad telling him, it's just me, okay, so his dad says, you know what, I miss my people, I want my people back, so I'm going to have to send you to the earth and sacrifice you to get my people back. Mm -hmm. And Jesus says, do I want to leave perfect heaven mm -hmm. to come to this world, sinful world, ugly world? And be sacrificed? Mm. Do I want to give up all this for all that? Mm. He was obedient. He obeyed yeah. his father. Yeah. He yeah. volunteered to come from the time he was born, from the time yeah. he understood. Yes. He knew what his mission was. Yes. He knew he was going to be a sacrifice. Yes. He didn't give up. He could have just told his dad, I changed my mind. Get me out of here. These people are hateful. These people are ugly. These people don't treat me right. Mm -hmm. He went through all this. 
and you think you're going through some hard times. Mm. You went through this so you can know he's gone yeah. through this. Yeah. And we can come to him. Yes. And he's going to give us the strength that we need on a daily yeah. basis yeah. Yes. to do what we need to do. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Where was I at? Oh, <laughs> and he took the beating. He took the stripes on his back mm. so that we could have healing. Mm. Amen. So that we could have healing. So you know what, some of you, whatever it is attacking your body, mm -hmm. spirit of infirmities, spirit of sickness, whatever it is, you know, confess what the Word of God says. It says, by Jesus Christ, I am healed. Amen. Yes. Body, yes. be healed in the name yes. of Jesus. Yes. I receive my healing. Yes. So body, line up with the Word of God yes. and receive your healing right now in yes. Jesus' name. Whatever it may be, it doesn't matter. You know, uh, the world says, well, you know, back then there was only a few sicknesses. Yeah. And now we got a whole bunch more. Yeah. No, he covered all of it. Yes, he did. His stripes covers every bit of it, okay? Yes. So I'm confessing his word. Yes. And his word says, by Jesus' stripes, I am healed from yes. whatever is trying yes. to attack my body. Right. In Jesus' yes. name. Right. Cancers, uh, whatever, it doesn't matter. Yes. I am healed, praise God. But you got to confess it. When it comes back, if it comes back, you'll put it in your mind. Says it worked for everybody else but you. Mm. It ain't going to work for you. Oh, yes, it is. The Word yeah. of God works for me, too. Yes, yes, Amen. Yes. You got to convince yourself. Amen. And have faith and say, I receive by faith. Amen. Yes, Ooh, amen. Come on now. And the most important of all is this He died so that we might have life. Yes. Salvation. Yes. He gave you a free choice. Yes, you choose whether you receive him as Lord and Savior mm -hmm. or not. But you're going to suffer. Mm -hmm. And you're going to pay for this. Yeah. Amen. So you decide where you want to go. You want to go up or you want to go down. Mm -hmm. The choice is yours. Jesus came and was sacrificed and gave us life. Yes, and he rode, he went, and he, and he rose again. Mm -hmm. Amen. Ooh, come on now. We're not going to finish all this. So yeah. we'll do some more of this next week. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> It becomes understand, uh, understandable as you walk the mission or the path mm -hmm. he set before you. Understanding is not a requirement for the start. You don't have to, you don't have to uh, understand it all before you start. Remember, we walk by faith. We step out in faith. God wants you to do this. I'm going to step out in faith. Lord. Amen. Amen. Remember, uh, uh, Peter, mm -hmm. he saw Jesus, and he says he wants to come out. Right, he's walking on the water. Yeah, and Peter says, "I want to come play with you. I want to come where you are." <laughs> and he says, "All he said was come." Amen. He says, "Come," and he started walking. Mm -hmm. And then he let his mind get in the way. He uh -huh. says, "I can't do this." Yeah. <laughs> we stop ourselves mm -hmm. because we try to reason things out. Yeah. But we step by faith. And yeah. we, he right. walked on on water. Yes, amen. Yes, Jesus, Amen. He stepped out in faith. Noah building the ark. Yeah. Moses, David, Peter, all stepped out in faith. All they had they stepped out in faith. They trusted. And obey. Yes, yes. And we need to do the same thing. Amen. Amen. You are his favorite child. And he's asking you to step out. But you got to step out in faith. Trust and obey him. Amen. Amen. So whew, we're going to close this. Amen. And uh, <laughs> well, I got to read you this before I close. Uh, Proverbs 4, 18 and 19 says, The path of the righteous is like the morning sun shining ever brighter till the full day full yes. light of day Amen. and 19 says but the way of the wicked is like uh -huh. deep darkness mm -hmm. they do not know what makes them stumble That's it. <laughs> one day you will understand in heaven the whole view the whole thing the whole big enchilada yeah. the whole big picture Amen. and you'll see God purpose behind the mission mm -hmm. or the plan he had specially chosen you for this. Amen. Just think, why am I doing this? Because God specially chose you for that mission. 
Amen. Big or small, when you start getting big and small involved, meaning uh, I'm in the flesh. When you see big and small and step out in faith, you just throw it under him mm -hmm. and not for yourself and yes. not for the world. Yeah. Lord, I'm doing this under you, big or small. That means I'm stepping out of faith. Mm -hmm. Because the world would say, well, it's only little. I mean, you know, why even do it? Why even get involved? I want to get involved because God called me to do it. Yes. And he wants me to do it. And he's chose me especially for this. Amen. Just like he chose you especially for what he's called you to do. Amen. Remember, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Amen. Amen. We're going to stop right there. <laughs> and uh, and we're going to continue this next week. Amen. Yes. The word of God never stops. And we never stop right. learning. You're we never there. stop studying. Mm -hmm. We always keep keep on loving. We keep on studying. Amen. So anyway, uh, yeah. if uh, okay. if you happen to, uh, well, we already prayed. If if you have a sickness in your body, just touch that part of your body and say, "By Jesus Christ, I'm healed," and I receive it. That's the main thing. Is yeah. you have to receive it. Yes. Because the word of God says that by his stripes I'm healed. So I need to receive it. And body, you line up with the word of God and be healed. Amen. And also, if you've never asked Jesus in your heart, now is the time. You know, I confessed it so many times, I forgot. And I see it on TV or I hear somebody say it and I'll say it again. So it's okay. But by faith, I know that I am saved. Amen. So it. Just say, say this, you know, uh, Lord Jesus, come into my heart yes. and be my Lord and Savior. Mm -hmm. Amen. I've sinned against you. I repent. Come and be my Lord and Savior. Yes. I, I confess it with my mouth. The Bible says if you confess it with your mouth, uh -huh. you're born again. Yes. I'm a new creature in Christ. Uh -huh. The old is gone. The new is in. Yes. Amen. So you believe it. And don't let nobody take that from you. Amen. Right. Woo, hallelujah. Amen. So, anyway, it's time to give. If you're watching or listening, uh, and you still like to give your tithe and your offerings, you can still do so. Just go to our website, nbcbigben.com, and hit that donate button. If you're mailing it, NBC PO Box 252, Marfa, Texas, 79843. And we just want to say God loves you and we love you. Praise God. Amen. God bless you.